as a native wine, you feel it in your gut. And then you stay here a little bit later at night. You start getting some chills. And you start hearing things. It's definitely how it used to be back in maybe the 16 or 1700s. Besides it being a golf course. Oh, come left. Come left. The nature and the feel, the oxygen that you get out of here pulls you back in time into a more non-modernized Hawaii. The footpaths that they're walking on are the same footprints that the Hawaiians were walking barefooted on before. It's a spine-tingling kind of experience. We see a lot of situations right now where they build and then ask questions after. So it feels good that it's recognized that this is a sacred place and there is protocol that they followed. You have to bow and give your respect to the ancient Hawaiian kingdom and the people who've created these courses. Oh, the point looks like it's firing. It's super, like, peaky and not one wave. Oh, that's just me. You got it. The way we grew up in Hawaii, it's like, you know, they're like a fairy tale. There's picture perfect, you know, years, days, moments, things I'll never forget. Ever since moving here at that young age, surfing took over my life. It truly did. You know, the ocean is my stadium. The ocean's my field, and it's also my home. Raising children changed my perspective on life. Just getting up and leaving 48 hours, 24 hours notice, like, hey, I gotta go. I don't know when I'd be back, maybe three days, maybe five, maybe 10. It's rough and it's hard, but it's part of the game that I signed up for. Hey, how's it going, Billy? Good, how are you? Oh, doing good. So they green lighted that event, so those uh, flights that you had on hold for me, leaving tomorrow uh, around noon, let's go ahead and confirm those. Friday out of Honolulu at 1.30. So you went out at 4.30, you got about a three-hour layover in Sydney on the way home, and then you get back to Honolulu that same day. I'm going to ship Cern's Bluff to compete in one of the most <laughs> deadly events in surfing history. So for me to go play a game of golf with my boys is like, oh, just, golf is so mental. It gets your head out of anything that you're overthinking or concerned or nervous about. <laughs> oh my god. The pressure's on you guys. Nice and easy. Hello, welcome to the front nine. Oh my god! That wind <laughs> the valley right there. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself like a limit of like three tries. Damn it. Or else we'll be oh. here forever. Yep. No chance, call. Wow, look at this place. We're straight in Jurassic Park right now. What? What? Ah! Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. god. Nice, Bill. Yes, I, Bill. It doesn't matter if I need to be in a jersey out in the ocean or holding a club on a golf course. I'm so damn competitive, and I love it. Yeah. So 100 bucks a team. So we're just playing against teams. Teams. Yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> I think we should go 100 each. No, Let's do no, it. No. I'm down. I, I think I'm just giving money away, so I'd rather give away less. Watch him sink it. Wow, that was really sick. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. 
Oh my god. I think be fun. That's going in the pond, right yeah? He's on the green. Oh, oh my oh. god. Are you kidding? <laughs> We get onto a golf course, it's something to get your mind completely off of what you're dealing with. Still being very competitive, that's something we still truly suck at. Oh my yes! god! <laughs> Double or nothing, next hole.